What is up, YouTube world? Let me get this. There we go. That was just wait a little bit. Anyway, let's see here. Nope. Anyways, um, what is up, YouTube world? It's been a while since I've done a review on any of the bands I've seen. This video is going to be uh, John Stork and Brandon Bethel. Um, on 8-27, August 27th of, uh, last month at the Majestic in Fort Smith, Arkansas on Garrison Avenue. Uh, both great country rock artists. Uh, Brandon Banthel has a four-piece quartet. Uh, they sing mostly country. Uh, to me, his voice is really R&B sounding, but he does a lot of country. Or, you know, that's what he does. Um, so, it was a four-piece band, and they did it. Let me see. about 17 songs that night and a, uh, a few covers. What I like about a lot of the bands right now, the country bands or red dirt bands or whatever you wanna call them, um, they're doing a lot of 90s melodies uh, and uh, that they did some of that and we'll get into that here in a minute. But Brandon Bethel's a great artist, great guy, I hope to interview him. Someday, uh, I hadn't seen him but only once. Great guy, go up and, he got four singles out on streaming platforms. Uh, the first one was on October 23rd, 2020. Uh, I don't know if he's working on an, on an actual full album. I can't remember, uh, but they kicked off the night with TNT. I think that was a original, and they went into Put Out Your Flame. That was an original. He plays a lot of original songs. Uh, I think he's originally from South Carolina, but he is an Oklahoma boy from Owasso, I think. Somewhere up and around there, Claremore, Owasso. And then afterwards, this is a great song he did, How to Be a Man. Uh, then afterwards, he did Never Go Home. Uh, and then Nobody Like You. And then he covered uh, Tyler Children's White House Road. Great cover of that song. Um, then he did uh, You're No Good For Me. Then he slowed it down and did acoustic. The, the rest of the band went off stage. And it was a song called June 25th. And he wrote it for a friend's wedding a few years ago. And that was his uh, uh, present to them. It was a great song. You can check out my YouTube channel or, or video, uh, Brandon Bethel. Um, I'm going to have, there's two videos of Brandon, or three, I think, three. But check it out. It's acoustic. Uh, then they did, uh, he did uh, Kiss an Angel, Good Morning, Charlie uh, Pride. And then they did, he did a three song 90s melody, uh, Travis Tritt. Shenandoah and Brooks and Dunn. Uh, help me hold on. Two Dozen Roses. I love that song. And Brand New Man. Afterwards, he uh, went back to original songs for a little bit. He did My Own Worst Enemy. Uh, and then he did, uh, this was pretty cool. He did a French punch of Ear with a country song. It was and I know a lot of bands are doing that right now, doing the rap songs with a country song. I like it. Uh, actually, that started, I noticed a few years ago, uh, there was a band called, uh, shit, I just lost my damn train of thought. Hellcat Susie. And they did like Vanilla Eyes, Fresh Prince. Cup 45 and two zigzags and a bunch of other 90s and early 2000s stuff. Um, and then they, he did a Cole Wetzel's February 28th 
and then drink my pain away. That was also cool. And then he ended with yesterday. Uh, yesterday. That was the original song he did. And the funny thing is, when I looked at it before, I thought it was Yesteryear by Pecos. But like I said, Brandon Bethel is an awesome singer. Very, very great soulful voice. Um, check him out. I've got Still Shocked, I think, on Eric Stone Facebook page. E R I C S T O N E, expiring music writer. Please check me out. Uh, share, like, comment, dislike. Uh, suggest uh, just help get the word out. Uh, then afterwards, uh, John Stork came up, and that's also uh, he, it's a four-piece quartet. Uh, he's got one album out, uh, Radio Cowboy, and it was released on June thirteenth of twenty twenty during the pandemic. It has thirteen original tracks on it. He's got one EP, I think it's got four out or tracks on that, and then six singles. And the latest is Fast Horse, which uh, was released on August 22nd of this year. Uh, but he did a 90-minute set list. It was, uh, hang on. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. About 20... 20 to 21 songs. Uh, it kicked off with Rodeo Blues. That's an original. Uh, first time, that's an original. Forever Man, that's another original. I'm just drinking water today. Um, if You Can Dance, that's an upbeat, great song. Fast Tours, check it out. The latest single, She Likes the Wind. What Makes a Woman, that's a great slow song. I love that song. And I actually got it recorded, so check it out. A Dynamite, Another Town, Blood, What You're In For. And then he did uh, two 90s country covers. Like I said, that a lot of his bands are doing that now. They did, he did, uh, they did Brooks and Dunn's Play Me Something Country. And Toby Key should have been a cowboy. And I've talked about this numerous times on here, but it's just so amazing. This is just a fun music fact that I just find awesome. It's, um, Should Have Been a Cowboy was the most played song of the 90s. It was Toby Key's very first single in 1993. Like I said, it was the uh, most played song of that decade. Uh, and then... They did a three-man, or three-man, the Eric Stone, did a three-song melody, and then they did Radio Cowboy, which is a title track to his 2020 album, and Facts in Life, and then they went off stage and come back for an encore and did uh, three songs from the 90s. They did uh, Brooks and Dunn's. Brand new man. A lot of them are doing that one. Uh, that Ain't My Truck, Red Atkins. And they ended with She's Got All by Kenny Chesty. Uh, great, great guy. If you have a chance to meet John Stork or Brandon, check them out. Uh, they're both down to earth. You know, and he's... John Stork is very energetic on stage. You're going to be very entertained. I hope to see him again. Uh... Uh, like I said, he's got a, he's very energetic, uh, you know, some, so, he's more uh, an entertainer on the entertainer side more than, just, I mean, he writes his songs, but he's a really good entertainer, um, but check out my videos, um, uh, also, I'm going to be doing another video, or show review of Chance Stanley and Chris Knight, uh, check that out, um, but like I said, check them out. Uh, check Brandon Bethel. Uh, like, share, comment, buy their stuff. Uh, John Stork, too. And you can have check out, I think, johnstork.com for merch and everything else like that. I didn't have enough money that night to get merch. Um, but check them out. And 
I'll see y'all later.